Wildfires typically slow down at night because of the cooler air and the higher humidity. Yeah, firefighters call it nighttime humidity recovery. So essentially, it's a reaccumulation of moisture in the fuels. Jennifer Balch, director of CU Boulder's Earth Lab, led a new study showing that vegetation is not recovering at night as well as it used to. In fact, she says our nights are hotter and drier than ever before. And it provides an explanation for why our fires are getting more extreme. The study identifies a threshold that Balch calls flammable nights, when the nighttime weather conditions are just as conducive to wildfire spread as the daylight hours. Balch says there's an average of seven more flammable nights per year worldwide and 11 more in Colorado and the rest of the western U.S. That's a 45 percent increase since 1979. The measurement used to determine the threshold is called vapor pressure deficit. It's a, a metric that captures both temperature and humidity levels together, and it, it essentially measures how much the atmosphere is sucking moisture out of fuels. She says the nighttime warming trend means wildfires can last longer, spread faster, and grow larger. It also raises concern for fire crews that she believes are already overworked. Because our firefighters are not getting a break at night, they're having to deploy new tactics and really challenging tactics in the middle of the night when fires are acting extreme. And um, yeah, we're, we're just asking too much of our firefighting community. And Balch says the nighttime warming is a result of greenhouse gases entering the atmosphere from the excessive burning of fossil fuels by humans. This, there's a direct connection to our warming climate in Colorado. And this is climate change here now in Colorado. It's not out in the future. It's, it's happening right now. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.